planning. The course should be planned by marking levels for openings in the walls and wall junctions. Then, markings have to be done on the pillar and floor slab for the first course of the bricks to be laid. Ensure that the floor is cleaned from dust and loose materials. Mortar ratio for porotherm HP for 150 or 200 mm thick wall use 1 is to 6 ratio for 100 mm thick wall use 1 is to 4 ratio for 100 mm thick walls RCC stiffener bands are to be provided after every five courses of porotherm bricks the first course should be done with extra care the first course is laid on a level mortar bed. The thickness of the mortar bed should be such as to avoid cutting of bricks in the courses above. Ensure that the mortar layer is stiff enough to avoid sinking of the bricks. Always start the masonry from the column face. Check the accuracy with respect to plumb and level by the help of a level tube. Then align vertically and horizontally by using a plumb bob and a line dory. To ensure correct alignment and straightness, a line dory is tiled along the length of the proposed wall. For proper bonding of the bricks and mortar, ensure to pre-wet the bricks. If the bricks need to be cut, use a wet cutting machine or a stone or granite cutter. Mark the positions of the cut on four sides of the brick with the help of a measuring tape and then use a wet cutting machine to make the cut on the brick. Further, to break the brick apart, use a chisel on the flat thick band on the surface of the brick which will cut the brick into desired sizes.